Hey friends, how are we doing? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Harry and I'm a third year paramedic student studying at Victoria University in Australia. I'm also applying for medicine and well, I have applied and hopefully I get in next year. So what, interviews come out in September or interview offers come out in September and what is it now? Like end of June, so that's Oh my god, we still got like two, like three months until offers get released. <laughs> oh my god, this wait is just an absolute killer. <sighs> Do not apply for medicine at all because this is just the worst. But do actually apply for medicine if that's what you want to do. Oh, this is this is killing me. <laughs> all right. Anyway, so. This video here I want to talk about section 2 time management tips in the GAMSAT. So this is part 2 of a three part series. First part I've already chucked up where I talk about the time management in section 1 and then the third section which is time management section 3 will be out probably in the next couple of weeks or so. All right. So I just want to yeah, pretty much run through that, give you guys a bit of an overview of some of the tips that I kind of picked up and I'll pass that on to you guys. All right, well, let's dive in, shall we? So, section two, as I'm sure you're aware, is the essay section. So two essays in, I think it's about in two essays in 65 minutes. So that brings you to around about 32 and a half minutes per essay. So what I'm gonna be touching on in this video, which I think is probably the structure that most people are going to be using when they write their essay. So I think it's probably the most worthwhile one to explain and break down is the three body paragraph with an introduction and a conclusion. So if we break all them up, that gives us roughly about seven and a half minutes per paragraph. Now that is assuming that the introduction and the conclusion, well not assuming, we, that is saying that the introduction and the conclusion are one paragraph in this. I mean, considering that when you've got an introduction and then you've got a paragraph down at the end, the conclusion is really just summarizing the key points that you've introduced in your introduction and you just kind of word it in a different way and use it as a nice little surmising sentence. So I think that because they're really touching on the same ideas, it's probably safe to wrap them up into the one, the one paragraph for this sake anyway. So how I wrote my essays was essentially just that. I just used the three body paragraph. I just had my intro, my three points, and then a conclusion down at the bottom. And that, and that was it. I'm not a really strong writer. And I thought, I found that this was just the most simplest and easiest format to follow without branching into crazy complex abstract poems or story writing or something crazy like that, which I'm, um, I would just crash and burn on really. In saying that, if you are some phenomenal writer who wants to write an abstract poem or some creative story based on the ideas and the quotes, then absolutely go for it. I'm not saying not to do them. I'm just only going to really be touching on just this three body paragraph for the reasons that I outlined before. All right, so first tip right off the bat, time started ticking, you've read your quotes, whatever you do, don't start writing immediately. It's really, really crucial in this first preliminary stage to take those first one or two minutes to actually jot out and plan your essay. So get your paragraph, your intro, your conclusion, well, mainly your three paragraphs, I suppose, and just write one or two words, maybe three, you know, maybe half a sentence, essentially, on what you're gonna talk about in that paragraph. Okay, so there's no need to expand here. There's no need to write down further ideas and your examples because you're just gonna eat into your time and you're going to need that time to expand and write that all out in your paragraphs. I find that having those ideas already outlined beforehand before you start actually writing allows you to free up that mental energy and allow you to focus more on actually converting your ideas into coherent themes and examples in your paragraphs. And it also allows you kind of really access that flow state and get really into structuring your sentences and writing really, really well and efficiently and really, really clear because you're not then finishing paragraph one and going, oh, oh geez, like, like you don't have to think about what you're then gonna write for paragraph two so that then it can link into a nice paragraph three. You've already got it there and you don't have to think about it and you can just get down and write. And something that I forgot to mention as well, which is just huge, 
So, so incredibly helpful and is definitely without a doubt going to tip the scales in our favor when it comes to managing our time is that the GAMSAT is now digital, which means the essays are now typed. So if you think about how much we're typing on our phones, on our computers, our laptops, and like our iPads or whatever, compared to how much we actually write things down, the hugely helpful, I reckon it shaved probably about three or four minutes off my essay writing time overall. Like, mm, this is a big thing for us when it comes to managing our time. Absolutely. All right, so we've got our ideas laid out and we're now writing our essay. Or, or we're now typing our essay. So we're typing our essay and now this might go against your better instincts, but I find it's incredibly helpful and I think it's probably a good practice to get into is to not check the time while writing an essay. Now I know it's, you're going to want to keep looking over to that clock like every like one or two minutes all the time, but I really, really, really suggest not to look at it and wait until you've actually finished that first essay before going to check your time, seeing how much you've got left and then planning accordingly for the second. Through doing it this way, you're actually benefiting yourself because you're no longer halting your train of thought throughout the essay and you're no longer having to pick up the pieces and kind of pick up from where you left off multiple times throughout a paragraph. It actually ultimately allows you to stay in that nice juicy flow state throughout your essay and smash it out without having to stop and start continuously. Once you've finished your first essay, the next thing you can do immediately after is stop. Stop, close your eyes, take a deep breath, reset, and then look at the clock and see how much time you have left. Generally, for the second essay, it's going to follow a very similar structure to your first essay. So you'd be able to look at how much time you've got left and extrapolate to your second essay how much time you're going to need and how long it's actually going to take you to finish it. I've generally found that I still have about 29 minutes to finish my second essay, which for me has been more than enough. I've finished every essay that I've wrote for the GAMSAT. From here, still write out your ideas for your paragraphs because as I've spoken about in the video and seems to be a kind of central theme really, is that through writing out your ideas, you don't have to think as much throughout the essay and allows you to stay in that flow state and really focus on those coherent sentence structures. So generally I would write out my ideas and then just make a mental note to take about a minute or two off the planning of the structure and organization of the introduction and conclusion. So that way you're still balancing out, you've still got that 29 minutes or so to smash out those three main body paragraphs for your second essay. This then allows you to put extra time into those three core body paragraphs. And it's those three paragraphs where you really want to invest more time into expressing those ideas and thoughts and emotions, because that's really where you're going to grab the marker's attention and get the majority of your marks. Now, what I really actually like about this time management system, even though I'm not a good enough writer to have been able to utilize it, if you're really lucky with the prompts and you're able to smash through both your essays or you're just a phenomenal writer and you can just go through it and list ideas off the top of your head, it actually allows you time to then proofread your essays because you've given those seven and a half minutes or so per paragraph and you're smashing them out in like five or six minutes each. You then do your ideas and you've gone through it all. You find that you've probably got like six, six minutes or so to actually then proofread your essays afterwards, which in such a time poor environment where almost nobody gets that luxury, like that's a pretty good bonus. Probably the biggest thing you can do. And this is so much better than any time management skills or any time management structure or organizational framework is to just practice writing. Really, that's the one thing that's going to get you over the edge and save you the most time overall. Because if you're typing a lot leading up to it, you're just gonna already naturally have those ideas flowing, those neural pathways clicking off as you go through, and you'll just get better with, better, well, you'll also get faster typing as well. And type on a keyboard. Yeah, that's crucial. I know I'm saying typing, but just to reiterate, don't write your essays, type them. And then if you wanna go one step above, you could even look at buying the exact keyboards that they, you actually use in the GAMSAT. I'm pretty sure they're just like those cheap, black, dull, like dull ones anyway. So if you really wanted to go above and beyond, you could buy one, or I'm sure there's cheap secondhand ones that a school's trying to get rid of or something. So that's also an option too. And that's that. Thanks for tuning in everyone again. Really appreciate it. Hope you got something out of this. 
My section three video will be up in the next coming weeks, so stay tuned. I think you guys will really enjoy it and get a lot out of it. If you haven't already or you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, so you don't miss a video when I go live next. Oh, not live, but when I post, <laughs> when I post another video, I'm not streaming. Hmm. Leave a comment down below about anything and everything really, whatever you want. Uh, leave it about second two time management tips to just kind of keep the ball rolling or medicine or GAMSAT or anything. And I'll, uh, I'll head down there and definitely give it a look. All right, until next time guys. See ya.